Now we have learned how to insert a PDF in Classflow whiteboard and now we will see how to insert a PDF in Google's Jamboard. This is also one of the worst whiteboards because you cannot insert a PDF in Google's Jamboard if you have a free account. So I am in my Google's account and I open my Jamboard and it has two pages. One has a background and one is empty. Now to insert a file, we have to click on this add image and as the name suggests, it only supports images. So if I click on add image and there is an upload icon and a browse icon, so it seems that we might be able to upload a file. But if I click on this and I select my PDF and click open, it will show me that this file is not supported. Now, if you want to insert a PDF, you first have to convert it to a PNG or a JPEG image. And there are ways to do that. Now, to convert a PDF to an image file, you can use many free PDF editors. And I have made a separate video on these free editors. You can watch that video. And one of those is Sejda. And if I click on sejda.com, and here you can see that we have many tools. And one of those is PDF to JPEG. So I can click on that, then I click upload PDF, then I select this PDF and click open. And now I can select these pages by hitting control and then I can select all four. And then I select the format, JPEG or PNG. So PNG is better. And then I click convert. And then I download, a file will be downloaded. I click show in the folder. It is a zip file, so I control C and I place it here, control V. I right click on this and I click extract here. And now I got these four image files and now I open my Jamboard. I click on this image, browse and now I can select this file and I can click open. And it will open this file. I can click shift and I can resize this if I want. So this is how you will insert a PDF file into a Jamboard, which is one of the worst possible ways. Because this is the thing this whiteboard should do on auto, like any other whiteboard. You insert a PDF, they convert it to PNG, and they insert the image inside your whiteboard. So this was our second online whiteboard. 